Good morning, Bahamas. Thank you very much for having me. You look great, I must say. <laughs> I must say, you look great. Well, thank you. Um, are these colorful, are they glasses or shades? There's those those <laughs> who are listening in Radio Land can't see. <laughs> They're reading they, glasses. And, and they have, they have a, a, a particular color. <laughs> the same color as the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Which is red, um, in her case, and that, uh, Red did not really splash the way you wanted it to splash, did it? Um, no, not everywhere. But in some places. In Long Island, it did. <laughs> yes, it did, sir. Yeah. You are running for deputy leader of the FNM. You will place your name and nomination tomorrow morning, and then the party will vote. It's yes. a convention. It is a one-day convention that begins quite early tomorrow. And obviously the race is heating up. It's very exciting, highly competitive. But, you know, nothing worth having is not worth fighting for. So it's a fight. And I think that at the end of the day, whoever prevails will surely say it's been worth it. As far as we know, there will be at least two others in that race, perhaps three. Well, you know, one thing about nominations is that you never know what is going to or who is going to pop up until such time that nominations are closed. Last evening we had the privilege of nominating all other party officers um, in the essence of time. So basically tomorrow morning the top five spots of the party will um, be open for nominations. That's leader. Deputy leader. Deputy leader. Chairman. Chairman, Secretary General, Secretary General, and Treasurer. Treasurer, and also, or did you, did you already deal with Deputy Chairman? No, the Deputy Chairman um, will, the, yeah, there are actually two Deputy Chairmen, and that has been dealt with, along with five Vice Chairmen. Okay. So it's just the top five positions. Okay. No one is going to challenge Dr. Hubert Minnis for leader. No, um, I think that we have resolved that matter already. So, you're just going through the motions? Well, convention is the highest body of the party. And so if he is unchallenged, that is where he has to be ratified and elected. Right. Right now, um, from the council level, um, he is the parliamentary leader of the opposition party. And also the leader elect, of the or, party. Or if you want to say leader elect, but he has not yet, you know, been elected. Um, we have affirmed that that is the person we would like to have as our leader. So technically then, Hubert Ingram has not yet resigned as leader as far as the convention is concerned. Absolutely. He Absolutely. will do that tomorrow.